So I just pulled the head off this uh, 22R to show you guys. A blown head gasket. Yep. And you can see where the head gasket blew right there. These two valves are kind of corroded with all sorts of gunk. Found this guy at Home Depot, which is really cool. Let's see if I can get that logo. Hyper Tough. It's meant for removing grout. Coming together quite nice. Let's see. Give a little wipe. Uh, not, not where I want it to be, but it's getting there. It's definitely getting there. These are really bad. Uh, it's looking a lot cleaner. Still need to do some work on it. All we've got to do is get those little, there's two pieces in there. Get my valve soaking in some automatic transmission fluid. And it's looking a lot better than it was. Here is a comparison. Whoa, oh, nasty. And uh, put it in a drill, and then used a screwdriver and just you know, rotate it at a higher RPM and was able to chip it all off. Yeah, like that. That guy needs a little more cleaning. He's pretty good. I've pulled the intake valves off as they were really, really gunked up on the inside and the outside. Looking through here for my uh, timing cover gaskets, and they do not exist in here. So that kind of sucks. Getting the timing chain put in. Got it all linked up. Double checked. Just want to get her going. Made sure it was top dead center, and that when it was fully extended, uh, the cam. It's going to be positioned at the top. New rail right here. This one seems okay. Here's my other rail. Broken. Here's the head gasket I'm using. It is where it blew on mine. Looks like a pretty sturdy spot. Sealed this guy up yesterday. It's looking pretty good. Here we go. Got the gasket set in there. The exhaust bypass and the coolant. Put a little gasket seal right there where the uh, timing chain cover meets the block. All right, she's on there. Let's see, you can see the gasket right in there. A little trick for holding the timing in place while you get the head bolts in. Got head bolts right over here. some anti-seize. It's almost in there. Alright, got the timing chain on. That wasn't fun. So basically what happened was down there the oil tensioner, the pump, was kind of seized. I had to get it up. As you can see we got top dead center. Top dead center. Alright. The head bolt's on. Yeah, nicely. I can take this guy off. It's coming along. There's our top mark. It's actually supposed to be a little bit to the left. But when you look down here, that's because that guy's a little bit to the right. Oh. There we go. Right to the zero. To the zero mark. There we go. It's part of my oil pump. That is not in my oil pump. One for me. Always double check. Because now I gotta take this whole thing apart. Or do I?
wait, wait, wait. That's the oil pump right there. And you can take the oil pump off without taking the timing housing off. The oil pump can be taken off by just taking the the balancer or the yeah the balancer right here off. Take this guy off, take that guy off, problem solved. Phew. Side note, the engines come in together quite nicely. It's looking nice and clean. So next step is putting the uh, intake manifold gasket on. It needs to go in between these two guys. Right there. Alright, carefully uh, take this guy off. Left a couple of bolts on there just to hold it in place. Safely just set that right there. This is why I left a couple of the bolts on. So I can just slide it right into place and the bolt will hold it. Just probably bolt that guy in first. Getting this little guy on there. Just gonna hand tighten it for now. Got that on. A little more nice and tight. Slide this guy in. And that is where the EGR meets up. Here she be. Right like that. Boom. So I'm doing a compression test on this uh, 22R right here. I got hooked into the number two cylinder, and I'm getting a pretty low reading. What's that? So about 65 psi, whereas on all the other cylinders I'm getting about what would that be? About 130. So about 50 percent. Um, I had just replaced the head gasket, so I assume it is a valve problem. Next step is a leak down test. Alright, so for my leak down test, I used to like to use a, just a, oh shoot, just a regular uh, bike pump. Went ahead and hooked it up to chamber one. Ooh, I think the valves might be open. Turn this over so that we can close up all the valves. 